tonight is the Sunday night market, which is one of the biggest things here in Chiang Mai. We're told that when you're walking the streets of Chiang Mai in the night market, you get pushed. you're like, you actually can't stop at booths because there's so many people and they're pushing. Rach, show your elbows that you're gonna use. She was on like a headband streak Tonight last night. Six scarves. Now she's looking for scarves. It's Fashionista Sunday. We're gonna go early, try to beat some of the crowds because it does get pretty wild and crazy. We actually want to buy some stuff, not just run around. It's my rasta band. <laughs> Found a good parking spot right by the street. Now we're walking in. Chiang Mai Night Market on Sunday is the biggest. It's just basically they close off a bunch of streets and they have street vendors come. So there's that night market that we've been to that's just every night here in Chiang Mai, but that's like a set place. This is one of the main roads and you can see the main gates are way down there and it basically goes all the way down there. This usually is a road that you know you can go down and there's lots of cool restaurants and whatnot, but today being taken over. I vlog, she shops. Great. So scarves are a big thing here in the Chiang Mai night market. There's oh, lots many, of scarves so and they're all a really good price. If you want to get a scarf here, one for like two bucks, it's crazy. So it seems like you just talked that girl down. Okay, so most of the scarves are gonna start at like 200, 120, that's it. And if you're getting two, you can get each one for 100 easily. So don't go any more than that. You always gotta talk the prices down. You never are gonna pay what they ask for. Half is a good place to start and then they'll go up and you go down and you'll end up paying like three quarters of what they ask. How many scarves did you just buy? I spent under 20 bucks and I got seven scarves. We're at the main gate right here. And we're about to go explore all of the night market. We're gonna try and walk the whole thing, see everything that we can, and you know what? Maybe we'll try some street food. Let's see what kind of food they have here. There's a lot of like rice wrapped in bamboo. There's lots of different that. Kinds of rice. Lots Stick of fruit. Your nice sweet rice. Look at all these different fruits. Rice with maple. Lots of coconuts. Pad thai. Pad thai is probably one of the number one things. Corn. That's banana leaves. Ooh. Yeah. Omelets. Okay, so a lot of the meat that you'll find as street meat is not what you think it is. We did the, the Thai experience when we were on Koh Samui. The woman that ran the Thai experience explained what all the different meats that you'll find when you're on the street in Thailand. Chicken kebabs. Chicken kebabs is chicken, it might not be chicken breast, but it's chicken. It's chicken. It's not. Well, it is chicken. It's, it's chicken butts, or like chicken, chicken like literally gimbals. chicken anus or chicken neck. Yeah, I think it's like the anus? neck. Anus. It was, ugh. Some, ooh, look at this. A big thing of pad thai. I found the first bit of street food that I want to try, and it's little pastries. I'm gonna do a banana, a coconut, a taro. We might get a massage later. Do you see that behind me? If you get tired of Shop walking this. drop and then get a massage and get right back in. Yeah. Well, I think we found the area of questionable meats. Say pork in a bag. I did. Oh, uh, no. Those are not chicken. They're chicken something. Okay, I, I can't. I just smelt durian. There's definitely durian here. Ooh, squid eggs. Rach, you want some squid eggs? Hello. Giant squid tentacles, wow. So you want a massage? If we want to do a foot massage, we should do it. There. Hello. Yeah. You're beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> We're doing it. Shady bot, watching the sunset. Oh, 
Thank you. Thank you. Kapunka. Kapunka. Thank you so much. How do you feel after your massage? Great, I'm ready for another one. <laughs> after doing Muay Thai this morning, oh my, my, my calves needed it. Rachel's feet were like twitch, twitching out the whole time. <laughs> the sun's starting to set. It was a good time to, you know, do some people watching and watch the sunset over the horizon. It is starting to get a lot busier now. This is starting to get really jam-packed. Lots of people. I don't know where to walk. This place is insane. Left, right, straight, back to where we Apparently we're, we made it to the dead center. And that's it. I don't know what that is coming over the loudspeaker, but it's playing through this entire place right now. That was a trip. What the, the troll? I, we cool. had no idea that was there. coming. The entire night market froze. Like three miles of streets. Everyone just froze. It was completely silent. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome walking by Facebook tonight. Rachel is currently getting snacks for the plane ride tomorrow. Is that a fish? A fish on a stick? Okay, we just found a pot thai stand where it's 10 baht for a thing of pot thai. We are doing it. Ten baht pad thai. How is it? Good. <laughs> we have to choose between the super skinny, the skinny, the regular, and the thick. We got thick, and we put a lot of chili on it. Spicy? No, it's good. Let's get the chilies on. Mmm. That is every piece of the chicken you probably don't want to eat. Oh. What's up, Market Dog? What is that? It's a fish shaped custard. I got a fish with cream on the inside. I think it's a fish waffle, actually. The guy was not too happy about me filming him. He threw the hand up. That's different. That might put you to sleep. Wow. It's good. We've made it to one complete end of the night market. Now we have to go all the way back through to get back to our motorbike, which is at the other end of the city. We almost, this night market almost goes through the entire old city. Yes. We're gonna try to fight the crowds and get back to our bike. It's getting to the point where it's so crowded that you can barely walk. <laughs> No, <laughs> this has gotten really bad. It's now just like a single file line. <laughs> shuffle. Shuffle, shuffle. I don't even know if you could stop to get anything because everyone keeps pushing you. How do we get out? Is there an out? We gotta get out. We gotta find our way out. We just got out. Oh, that was, that was. Okay, we escaped the craziness. Guys, if you're going to the Chiang Mai night market, make sure you go at like five o'clock. Yeah, and then be done. And then be done, because at a certain point, it's just not fun and it's yeah. not enjoyable whatsoever. It really kind of sucks when it gets that crowded. You don't move. I mean, she was throwing elbows. 